Okay, so which guitar is best? It's this one. And it's only three million dollars. Ah, oh, but oh no, no, ah, oh, but somebody already bought it. But good news is, you can get a pretty good guitar for less than half the price. Not yet. And also remember that before committing to buying a new guitar, most guitar stores actually just let you rent them. You can get like a $200 guitar for about $13 a month and try it out. And then at the end of the month, if you like it, you know, you can always just steal it or, or buy it if you, if you want to do that. But okay, so what guitar are we buying? Well, first it's important to set a budget. We'll say about under 2 million, like $200. And always remember that when getting a guitar, you always have a few options. Like you can buy new, you can buy used, or maybe if your grandpa has one and he's sweet and nice, then you can always steal it. He can't catch you. Probably. Hey, Sonny, is that my fender? No. Oh, okay. Okay, but say you have moral ethics. Well, $200 can still get you a pretty solid guitar. Well, let me tell you how. So most budget guitars are actually replications of way more expensive guitars. But instead of using like 10,000 year old wood, they use laminate. But does it sound as good? Yeah, no, but it's pretty similar and you won't be haunted by the spirits of the forest. So you win some, you lose some. But with that in mind, if you get an acoustic, you should at least make sure that the top is wood because if it's all laminate, then that will sound unpleasant. Okay, yeah, so what is the best beginner guitar? Well, first I'm gonna have to ask you to do an activity. Could you please draw me an electric guitar? Did you do it? Thanks. So it probably looked like this. Or if you're not incompetent, like this. That's a Fender Strat. It's one of the most iconic electrics. You can hear it played here and here, but also here. It's a very versatile instrument, so if you want an electric that can do it all, that's a good one. And you can get a Fender Strat for about $1,000, which as you may know is more than 200 But luckily they have a sister company called Squire, which makes the exact same guitars but for cheap. And that sounds like this. It's not bad. But now if you're thinking, oh that was good, I just wish it was named after a human, well then I'd say, okay. How about the Les Paul, named after Les? Paul. You can hear it played here, or here. It's another very versatile guitar, and they also have a sister brand, so you can get an Epiphone Les Paul starting at 200, which sounds like this. Thanks, Marty. That's pretty nice. And if you like that one, but you're thinking, I just wish it had horns, well, that makes sense. And you'll probably like the Gibson SG. You can hear it played here, or every ACDC song. And like the Epiphone Les Paul, you can get one starting at $200. And that sounds like this. Oh, wow. And if after that you're thinking, I need more of that guitar horn, well then you should check out the Ibanez RG. That sounds like this. Now, unfortunately with the RG, you don't have a cheaper sister brand, cause you don't need one. You can get the OG RG for just $230. What a seal. Okay, okay, but say you hate electricity. Well then we've got acoustics. So with acoustic guitars, they don't so much copy specific types of guitars, but rather they fall into two general styles, dreadnought and concert. Dreadnoughts are named after warships because they're big and loud and buoyant. The original was manufactured by Martin and you can hear it played here. Since then, pretty much every guitar manufacturer has made their own version, but if you want something that sounds like the original, but costs less than a car, then you should get the Seaglass 6. They can get for about four to $500, and sounds like this. The other most popular style of acoustic guitar is the concert, or the auditorium. They have smaller bodies, and aren't used in war. You can get them starting at $400, or if you're willing to spend a little bit more, I recommend looking into getting a Taylor. Cause that's the thing with lower priced guitars. Spending a little bit more can get you a lot more in terms of build quality. And that's the thing with all the guitars we talked about today. They're all on the most affordable end on a long chain of guitars that get you started from beginner guitars to the best guitars in the world. So they can really get you familiarized with the sounds and aesthetics of world-class guitars for an affordable price. So by the time you're ready to buy your second guitar, you know what you like, or you can just steal it.